we've seen how the election has gone, and um, you are from Enugu State. We saw how all the House of Assembly and the Senate was swept by a Labour Party. However, many believe that the vote from Enugu State was more than what uh, was uh, released by the electoral umpire. Do you share that view? Honestly, I share the same. I share the same view because going by what happened in Enugu, the the level of uh, victory that we achieved, the based on the turnout of uh, voters, one uh, one expected to see more than what 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 we saw at the end of the day. So we all believe that that the uh, the vote of Enugu you know, was reduced. Because from, from what, what we gathered, Enugu was supposed to turn out over a million votes. And, you it's know, pretty unfortunate. Yeah, and uh, we're also um, aware that uh, the voter suppression happened across the southeast. Yes. And the next election on the 11th is for the uh, governorship. Do you think Labour is able to take that? to replicate the feats that they did with the president? I'm very confident I'm going to do that because uh, the people are, they are tired, they want to see a change of government, they, they no longer want to, to be governed you know, by people who only think about themselves and not the people. So in real democracy is about you know, is about the people, but that's not what we've been having over the years, and uh, the the consciousness that, you know, is there now that we need to ha make a change, and have our state better developed from what we are having now. You can see it from from what happened at the last poll, and I'm very confident that it's going to repeat itself again. Do you have any idea what may happen if what we experience with the presidential happens during the governorship in Enugu? Do you think the people would be, you know, do you think... What I want you to know is that what happened in Enugu is, is not about party. It's about the people. What the people want. People, people, not only Enugu state people. Nigerians are desirous of change. That's why what happened, you can see disenchantment everywhere, even in the air. The air we breathe is disenchanted. So every living thing in Nigeria that, that is actually a living thing is disenchanted. So uh, people want to see a change so that, so, that, so that Nigeria will begin to move forward. And many of the opinion also... So it's not about the Labour Party. It's about the people. It's about the people. They want to see a change. Since 1999, nothing has, nothing has changed much. So they want to see a change. So I want to assure you that the same people that voted their mind in uh, 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 the last election, they are the same people that will equally come out to vote again. So uh, nothing can change their, 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 their mindset. So you're encouraging, irrespective of what happened in the last election, uh, the, out, the outcome, you're encouraging the people to troop, troop out the mass to vote for the governorship? Of course they should. That, this is even the, 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 what happened last, last election should be, should be a, strong, a strong encouragement, should encourage them the more to come out and vote. Because that is when people will actually believe what, that, what, that what we are saying, that they rigged the election, is true. The whole world will believe it. If we perform very well or, or better than, than what, what we did in the last presidential election, a national assembly election. So you still have confidence that INEC will do the right thing for the governorship election? Um, with, with, the, with the outcry, my mind tells me, that they are likely going to do the right thing. Because that will be another disaster 
if they don't do the right thing. Ah, la, 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 la.